Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a multi-use, no powder makeup look. I created this very dewy, sun-kissed glow look. Um, I feel like I have very similar looks on my channel like this, but I feel like this one's a little bit more unique because we're using all creams, liquids, no powders in this video whatsoever. This is just a really great look that you can achieve if you are wanting something that's very summer appropriate. It's very like beginner makeup. So I really wanted to dedicate a video just to my viewers who are, that aren't as makeup savvy and just want a look that they can recreate. So I found some really great products. You can obviously use all these products with um, your fingers. I do show a little bit of application with some brushes. I have a lot of nude sticks products in this video just because you guys know I like nude sticks. This video is not sponsored by them. I have Kosas. I have all sorts of other products that I think you guys are really gonna like. I just really love this look. It's very fresh. It's very breathable skin. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, I think today, my head's been kind of all over the place because I had so many things, like projects that I had to send over and get done, so my head's a little jambled right now. Um, I've already prepped my skin with the Glossier Priming Moisturizing Rich. I've already prepped my skin with the Glossier Priming Moisturizing Rich Cream. Um, I really like this stuff. It's very luxurious. It's a little bit more on the thick side. So if you're not a really big fan of like thick moisturizers, you may not like this, but I really do like it just because my skin's really dehydrated. And as you can see, it kind of gives me a little bit of a glow. So I really like that. You can see my bald spot. Just trying to cover that up the best we can. So for primer, I decided to use the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is the blurring one. I have never used this, so I think it'd be cool to just try it out since we are gonna be trying out some other new products in today's video. This one's a little bit more of like a milky, creamy consistency. I like to focus smoothing and blurring primers on the areas where I have really large pores, so I just like to tap them into some areas. Oh, I can kind of see it starting to blur it. I don't know if you guys can see, but now look how like blurred I am here, here, and here. I can like feel it. I love the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover. It's a very lightweight formula. Um, I will sometimes just slap this on my face whenever I just need a little coverage or I'm not feeling myself that day. And then I really love this Nude Sticks Blend and Buff Brush. And I'm just going to smooth this into my face like so. It just applies like a moisturizer. It's very, very lightweight. You can apply this with your fingers, you can apply this with your brush, your beauty blender. It's very light, just sort of evens everything out. I'm gonna use the Kosas Concealer. Mine is in the shade 06. I'll also have product shades all linked below, you guys know. And this stuff is also very sheer. Um, but you can build the coverage as well. I love the doe foot. You can get a really nice straight line even though mine's not that straight. This guy, I love applying with just my beauty blender and just shearing it out. We're gonna go straight into using a all over face cream. I usually will use some sort of like cream bronzer, but because this is a new shade to nude sticks, I kind of wanna see what it looks like just on its own. It's considered a nudies matte all over face bronze color, so you can use this as like your bronzer, I believe. Um, very similar to nude, or this is very similar to Sunkissed. I'll show you guys the difference. I have Sunkissed right here. Sunkissed is a little bit more of like a more bronzy shade, as you guys can see. And this is Beach Babe, which is also very similar. It's peachy, corally tone. So this is gonna give you a very like sunburnt look. So I don't know, we'll see. I might need to end up using a little bit of this maybe to deepen it up. This is Sunkissed. I'm gonna show you guys them next to each other. Sunkissed is the one that is very readily used. <laughs> Beach Babe, I haven't even used yet, but you guys can kind of see the difference. I kind of just want to use it straight out of the tube onto the skin and then blending it out and see how it is. So I'm just going to apply this right to the apples of the cheeks. 
I've really been liking using this brush. This is the Sephora Collection Pro brush. I love using the Real Technique brushes as well to blend this out. You can even use your fingers if you want. Formulations of these all over face colors are so good. Apply some to the nose. I usually like to do it at the bridge. And I'm gonna take it and also apply it to the eyelids. I'm just gonna apply this one on my fingers just because my brush is too big for my eyelids. Um, and then I like using this just as a eyeshadow color. I just feel like it ties everything together and this shade is beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with Sunkissed also. I'm just gonna put this on the outer part of my face and blend it out. So as you can see, it just sort of deepens up the look, the back of the cheekbone, but it is really pretty. And I'm also just gonna apply some of this to my forehead. So those are my two shades just kind of applied to the face like so. Okay, so for the Sun and Sea kit, you also get the really beautiful set of these shades. Um, so there are four magnetic eye colors and then two like lip and cheek colors, I believe, is that right? I'm going to take La Isla. This is a very pretty, this is a very beautiful sorbet, orange, tangerine color. And these are very pigmented, so I highly suggest taking them and tapping off any excess on the back of your hand. See how pigmented that is? That was just with a tiny little swatch. And then because there is a beautiful gigantic mirror in this collection, that mirror is making me nauseous. <laughs> just going to apply it and just kind of drag it and tap into the crease. Just kind of deepen it. This, all these shades really do blend together and work together. So the Beach Babe shade and this La Isla color are gonna be phenom. So I'm gonna take a little bit more on my finger, apply it right here. As you can see now, everything is pretty much really nicely deepened. I feel like the camera is not picking up how true to color this is, but it's just so pretty. I don't like, I wish you guys could see. I'll have pictures later of me in like the sunlight so you can really see the shade. I'm gonna take the shade Sunrise Star and just apply this kind of in the inner third of the eye. So that is the eyes. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply some mascara, so I'll be right back. The next step, now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna be using the gel colors. These are the Lip and Cheek Balms. I have two shades right here. This is the Crave and Babe shade. These are really pretty colors. I did like a tiny little swatch just to see. Um, but this is the Crave color and this is the Babe color. I really like them both. I might sheer the darker one out. I don't really know yet, but um, I can't just apply anything to my lips without having to line them. I'm very particular because I like to just define my lips a little bit more. I used O Coco. I kind of just lined them and filled them in just a little bit. I'm going to take that shade Crave. Take it on my finger. Tap, tap, tap. It's very balmy. Oh, this feels really nice on the lips. It's very hydrating. I've never used these before. Have I used something like this? I don't think I have. A much deeper shade. I feel like it's not as dark as it looks like in the tube, but it is really pretty. I'm going to use, oops. I'm gonna take Babe, and then I'm just gonna apply this right to the center. And just kind of sheer this out and blend all the colors together. Kind of just wanna see what this will do. I'm gonna use a little bit more of Sun Kissed on my forehead. Just blend this out. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do some highlights. This is the Kosas Color and Light Cream Palette in the shade Tropic Equinox. This is my favorite highlighting palette right now, especially because it is cream. It goes perfectly with this tutorial. And I'm just going to apply this right to the cheekbone and the high points of my brow bone. Right here. Going to apply it right in the center, right above my brow. For 
throughout the inner corners too. Very important. And I feel like this really just takes this into like a very, from like a spring look to a very summery, glowy look, which you guys know I love. Just a little bit of spray. Okay, you guys, and that is it. Um, I feel like that was a really quick and easy look. Um, I really love this. I just think the Sun and Sea kit is really killer. Um, like I said, very multi-use products um, and very appropriate for the weather and summer coming and everything like that. I just feel like I look like I came from the beach. If I was on a tropical vacation, I feel like something like this would be very appropriate. But right now, all we can do is imagine that we're <laughs> on a tropical vacation. So um, this makeup look definitely gives me summer vibes. I'm very into it. If you guys enjoyed today's look and then definitely give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell for every time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!